everyone. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. Welcome back to my pressed powder foundation wars. Today's episode six. And if you're watching this in the future, I will link all of the videos down below for you. I will be testing out six drugstore pressed powder foundations for your oily skin. And for each of these, I will be testing them out with primer and without primer. So let's get into pressed powder number six, and that's going to be the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Pressed Powder. This powder claims to absorb oil and control shine all day, and it also claims to contain buildable coverage that doesn't cake. So I tested this product out for two days, and day one is my first impression. But before we roll the tape, you guys might be thinking, Stephanie, this is not a foundation. It is just a setting powder. And yes, you're correct. But many people actually use this as a foundation and it was rated pretty highly as one. So I decided to go ahead and give it a try. So I picked up the color 120 Fair. And to be honest, when I literally picked it up just now, I thought it was broken. Um, this packaging is actually a little bit cheap. Like this is kind of wobbly. And then I opened it to make sure I didn't break it. And when I closed it, it just felt like there was a crunch. Like, I don't know. It just sounds and feels really, really cheap. So just beware. I do already have on concealer and I set it with some loose setting powder. So let's go ahead and put this on my face. I'm gonna use the sponge applicator on the right side to see if I like it. And then I will use my brush on the left side. So here we go, smell test. I always forget. It doesn't even smell like anything. Here's what it's looking like. Oh, I'm a little nervous. That is definitely really, really bright light. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my brush on this side and I'll be right back. All right, so here's how it is looking. I'm looking very ghostly, but I can go ahead and just darken it up with some bronzer but um, it's very, very sheer. Yeah, and of course it's very powdery because I haven't put on the rest of my makeup or set it with a setting spray, but let's go ahead and do a close up, and then I will finish the rest of my makeup so that way we can really judge how this is doing. So here's my forehead, the right side of my face, and the left side of my face. All right, so I'm back with the rest of my makeup, so let's go and take a look at my face. So this is actually looking pretty good. I did darken it up with my bronzer, and I think that this is a very nice light coverage. I think that it played well with the rest of my makeup. And of course it doesn't look as powdery anymore now that I have sprayed my face with my setting spray. I think it's looking really, really nice. I love just like how light it is and how light it feels. So let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here's my forehead. The left side of my face and the right side of my face. So now that we've seen my face up close, I do see that my pores and my fine lines are a little bit filled in. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm kind of impressed. Like I didn't expect this, but I'm really, really happy. But of course the real test is to see how it looks at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. So it's been about 10 hours since I have put on my makeup. So let's take a look at my face. So it has definitely come off on my nose and around my mouth. I am looking a bit creasy in my smile lines. Um, in between my lip and my chin and also in between my eyebrows. I don't really look super oily, which is good, but yeah, I think that the coverage still looks pretty nice. So let's go ahead and take a close up. Here is my forehead, the left side of my face and the right side of my face. Honestly, this did a lot better than I thought it would. Today's day two and I've been wearing my makeup for about 10 hours now. So let's go and take a look at my face. Just as a reminder, I am not wearing any primer today. So I have run a lot of errands today, so I was wearing a mask, and I can see just a little bit of the foundation or powder has rubbed off on my chin and my nose, and I look just a little bit oily. I do have some creasing in between my eyebrows, but that's about it. I think I look pretty good. I mean, I don't think that it looks bad at all. I feel like it kind of has the exact same coverage as it did this morning, other than those two areas, so. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Let's go and do a close up. Here's my forehead, the left side of my face, and the right side of my face. 
So overall, I do think that this did a good job acting as a foundation, and I know that I can count on it whenever I am having good skin days, but I can't really whenever I'm having bad skin days because with the little coverage that it does have, it really won't be able to cover any imperfections, unfortunately. So if you have great skin, then this is definitely for you. But if you, know, you have some imperfections going on, um, I don't really recommend this, but for $8, I really do recommend this as a setting powder because it covers your pores, your fine lines, so this is definitely gonna be staying in my makeup routine because with oily skin, you know, you get large pores. So this does a really good job with that. Okay, so you guys have to let me know down in the comments below, do you guys use this as a foundation or as intended, which is just a setting powder? Let me know down in the comments below because I really am curious. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Do stay tuned because my finale for this series is gonna be coming up soon and I can't wait. I know you guys really love that episode. So stay tuned and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.